Just the other day in English class, I met this boy. He was quiet, he was shy, and I said hi. We talked for a while and we hung out lunch after lunch, got close, and I kept saying hi. <laughs> he got my number and I got his and we started texting and he was bipolar. And he told me he never felt the way he did and I was kind of scared. Was that good? Was that bad? I don't know. <laughs> and just the other day he told me he couldn't be my friend. I asked him why and he said, your letters remind me of my mother and she left. I'm depressed. And I told him, I could help you out of your hole. I can lift you up, hold your hand and walk you out of the damn hole in which you are. We can sit in the library reading books of happiness. You can finally pop out of your shell and I can pop the balloons into your happiness. And so we stopped hanging out at lunch and I realized you fell deeper into the hole and you were afraid to speak. I heard your poetry and I heard you could laugh. Yet you said you were too afraid to talk. Yet you said you were too afraid to look. And when we were inches away face to face, I whispered, I'm here for you. Even if you don't want me to, even if you push me away, I want to be there. Let me. Allow me to be your friend. Allow me to push you up. Allow me to please hold you up. I want to be your gravitational pull upside down. We're sitting on the moon. We're not going to fall down. That boy now sits in class right next to me, not speaking. And I tell him, Luis, I'm not the devil. I'm not something that you want me to be. I am not your mother. I will not leave. And he whispers, I'm afraid. And I tell him, I am too. The world is crazy. There is nothing on the other side that tells me that I will be safe. But together, we can conquer maybe something higher. Maybe we can capture an entire galaxy in the palm of our hands and watch it revolve just like your life. Don't be, don't be afraid, because I am too. Let's capture the moment and face each other inches away. Stay. Mm. Woo!